Hey guys, this is Darren from ShareCity. So as promised from the previous video, today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to create a set of amazing animated slides using PowerPoint itself. And uh, all the animation that you see here is done within the software itself. So there are no plugins required. There's no additional software that you need to use in order to create this set of slides. So before we go on, let's recap the uh, end result that you will see if you go through with this tutorial. So here we have a set of slides where you have cute, cuter, cuter, three tabs, and each is representative of uh, one slide and for one animal, baby animal in this case. And then what happens is that if we click on one of the tabs over here, you will play an animation, the slide all the way down, and then you will play a power meter animation that you see over here, which is quite cool in my opinion. All right? If you do the same for the second tab, it will do exactly the same thing, but now it presents a different animal to you. So there are two things that we need to learn in order to create this set of slides. So the first tricky part is the top animation bar, the navigation bar that we see over here. And the second tricky component is actually the power meter. Uh, but it's actually quite easy to do once you understand uh, the basic principles behind it. So without further ado, let's quickly start the uh, tutorial. So I'm going to start with a blank PowerPoint slide here. So just imagine that we are starting a brand new project. And what we want to do is to draw a rectangle. Now the idea of this rectangle is to make sure that it is able to cover the entirety of the PowerPoint slide. Okay, so that when we slide it down all the way, okay, it is able to cover most of the slide and that's where we can add our content. So let's move it up here. Okay, and we want to add some kind of drop shadow to create the illusion that it is actually three-dimensional, just like a real file. Okay, after that, just go to the rounded uh, rectangle drawing tool, click on it, and then create a single tab for uh, your slide. Okay, and we want to remove the outline so that it appears as one single object from the perspective of the viewer. And uh, we want to add the same drop shadow effect that we see. Now, once you have done that, you can add any text that you want to the tab. So in our example, okay, we have the text queue. We change the font to something that is appropriate for our project, like uh, Comic Sans. Okay, it's right here. Okay, and there we have it for the first line. So since we have three slides, Let's just select everything that we have here, copy and paste, and then just very quickly change the color to something else. Okay, and we have our third slide, and we want it to be green color. So the next thing we want to do is to align the three slides right on top of each other and make sure that the tabs are perfectly aligned as well. Keep adjusting until you're happy with the alignment of the uh, three different tabs, okay, and then uh, you see if you look at this tab here, it's actually a bit too high up, okay, and you want to make sure that they are perfectly aligned, okay, and if you want to use the alignment tool, you can do so.
and they would be perfectly aligned. Okay, now what we want to do is to select everything that we have on screen and move it up. Okay, so that only the top part appears on the slide. Now the next step that we want to take is to create the animation for each of the slides. So as you have seen from the original slides, the animation is one of the slide sliding down from the top to the bottom once we click on one of the tabs. So what we want to do is to duplicate three slides. And for each one, we want to start creating the animation. So let's move the graphics away so that we can select the right slide. Press Ctrl G to group the slide and then click on the animation tab and click on motion pulse line. Now when you do that, you notice that two dots appear on your screen. One is the green dot, which is the original position of the graphics, and the other one is the red dot. And you can actually adjust the position, the final position of the graphic by just clicking and dragging the red dot. And in our example, we want to drag it all the way down so that the tab aligns with the bottom of the slide. And once you have done that, just make sure that you go to the animation pane and click on start with previous so that the animation plays automatically. And once you're done with the animation, just replace all the graphics to their original positions. So if I play my slide now, this is what you will see. So these steps are for creating the animation for having the slide to slide down when we click on any one of the tabs. So just to repeat and recap the steps, so what we want to ensure for the first slide is that we include the right action for the navigation tabs. So just click on the first cute tab over here and click on the action option and insert a hyperlink right on mouse click we want to hyperlink to not slide 2 but actually slide 3 okay and then after that you play the animation okay and if you click on the tab cute this is what we will see all right so now let's repeat the same steps for the cuter tab uh, we want to have the orange slide slide down so ctrl g to group the graphics together again Click on animation, select the line motion again, and then once again, drag your graphic all the way down to the bottom of the slide. Okay, make sure that you click start with previous, and then replace the slide that you have to its original position. Okay, and then we go back to the first slide, Go to the Qtar tab and add the action. Click on Insert Action. Click Hyperlink to slide number 4. Now let's just try to play the animation. So now if I click on the Qtar tab, this is what I'll see. All right? And if I click on the Qtar tab, I will get the blue color slide. So this is where we want to present our content. So as you can see from our original slides, we have a power meter with some kind of animation uh, happening on the screen. So let's learn how to do that. So what we want to do is to click the rectangle tool and draw the background of the power meter. Okay, and give it a gray color feel. The outline is not important. If you want, you can give it the outline. Just Ctrl C, Ctrl V, copy and paste. And now we have a bar okay, that will be in the foreground. And we will want to choose a suitable color for the bar graph.
Over here on the format shape pane, um, you can play around with um, the sliders okay, and the colors to make sure that it's something that is uh, outstanding. And it fits nicely into your presentation. Okay, in this case, uh, we are designing the uh, parameter for the first slide, which has a blue background. So I'm going to choose the orange color okay, as the color of the parameter. And that's the end result that we will see on the slide. So the next thing we want to do is to create the animation for this slide. So you just click on it, make sure that it's selected, click on animation, and then click on Y. So you probably notice that when I do that, okay, the white actually plays from the bottom to the top. What we want to do is to actually click on effect options and then make sure that the animation plays from the left to the right. Right? Okay, but at the same time, the background has to appear right after the slide when it plays the drop down animation. Okay, so what we'll do is to put in a fade animation for the background. And then Make sure that we reorder this. Okay, and right click, start after previous. So, so start with previous. Okay, so if I play the animation to you, this is what you'll see. All right, so the drop down animation comes down first, then after that, the background appears together with the animation of the uh, power meter. So, that is the basics of how you want to create a set of animated slides and give it a little bit more impact to make it more presentable. And hopefully your slides appear to be more interesting to your audience and you don't get bored you not know, just looking at a set of black and white slides. As for the other graphics like the animals and the icons, you can easily add them within the PowerPoint software itself and play around with the animations until you're satisfied with the effect that you are after. And you can use the techniques that you have just learned to create as many slides as you want. If you find this tutorial to be useful, please remember to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. With that, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.